What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today's video is going to be very, very different uh, from any that I've done so far. Uh, it's not going to be as much about math as much as it is about just sharing a personal project that I had the chance to work on a couple months ago and to share something that I'll be working on uh, during this time of um, quarantine and social distancing and all of that because I'm getting pretty bored. Um, very basically, this is a math program called Geometer Sketchpad that I use when I teach. But I decided to just see how powerful it could be in terms of just doing math and actually uh, figuring stuff out um, to the point where I can make a game out of it. And I did. I made an RPG using a math program. And because I am Mr. W, the math teacher, I do feel at least a little obligated to point out that I have actually used this in a couple lessons. There's a couple different applications of functions and probability and statistics and all that that I decided I would go ahead and actually try to build into this and make lessons out of. But essentially, uh, you play a cow hero. It's a very stupid concept, but you play a cow hero, and you can see their names are Samurai, Stronghorn, and Moo Gibson because I love puns way too much. Uh, the story is that you are the cow hero, you're fighting Paula Deen because you want to stop her from using all of your cow friends to harvest their butter. And the actual enemies you fight are pictures that I got from the internet of Paula Deen Photoshop, so it looks like she's riding different things like the Mars rover um, and other completely ridiculous things. There's one where she's riding a giant stick of butter. Um, but anyway, uh, this game essentially is, uh, is turn-based. You get an attack, the enemy gets an attack. So I'll go ahead and try the physical attack right now. My attack power is 7. The enemy's defense power is 1, so my attack should do about 6 if it actually hits. Um, you can see that I have a crit stat and an accuracy stat. Those are percentages, so I should hit about 3 fourths of my attacks. Let me try another physical. And I missed again. Let me try a magic attack now. These use 3 action points. But you can see my magic power is a little higher, and as you can see, it actually hit. I don't have to worry about accuracy with magic attacks. I decided to program that aspect into it. So let me do this one more time. Now I did 8 damage. I did program a little bit of variability, and if you see the 0 there, that's because the AP cost went down to 0. That's something I might want to change for the next version, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But let me try one more physical attack since I'm out of action points, and of course the enemy's down to just 1 health. And there we go. If you see the experience points change, um, I decided to program this so that the experience points would be just what you got when you added up all the enemy stats, max HP, attack, magic, defense, resistance, and crit. Um, so you should get 39 when you, and when you add all those up. It's pretty much that way for the entire game, but I did build in some penalties as you get further. Um, very basically, your stats go up kind of like a linear function. They go up in kind of a linear way. The enemy the enemy goes more of a quadratic, so you'll be stronger and then the enemies will eventually catch up. Um, all the stats, you can see the base stats here, but then I add some random number based on how many enemies I've fought and what my current level is. Uh, so now that the, we're at zero, I'm going to go ahead and end the battle. You can see this dot moved and the level numbers changed. Now I passed level one so I can click the claim level button and you can see that all of my stats went up except for accuracy. Um, so a couple other things I managed to build into this game. First, I managed to build in critical hits. They basically just do three times as much damage. I'm not going to lie, that's a mechanic that I stole directly from Fire Emblem because it was very easy to try to program. Um, items will give you back half your health. Um, I would probably like to try to build in an AP replenishing item at some point. Uh, in the in my next version of this. Uh, but I do want to talk about, for those of you who are familiar with this program, the one discovery that I made that ended up making all this possible. So this is what I call a line counter. Very basically, this program needs something geometric to communicate with, um, especially if it wants to keep track, or if you want the program to keep track of, an, of some kind of number. And what I've done is I've made this so that it measures every, what it calls a centimeter, as one. And every time I click the add one button, you can see the point is just moving one centimeter and this count is going up. Now I've done a couple things like that. Um, for instance, if you noticed that the uh, that the stats went up by different numbers, accuracy didn't go up at all, crit went up by one, I think HP went up by two or three. Um, 
I basically just built that around a few random number generators. This whole thing is pretty much built on RNG, and I know that that and many other things about it make it an undeniably bad game. Um, but the fact is, uh, I was able to program all this stuff into this math program. This is something I've done, or that I did a couple months ago. Just now figured out how to actually be able to share it with my viewers. But I want to talk about version 2. I'm going to actually try to record myself programming and upload those videos um, as, as I go. Um, some reasons for doing this include that I can chronicle my creative process and my thought processes. I want to add something that's truly unique to my channel. I don't think anyone has tried to make a video game out of a dynamic math program before. And finally, as you can see, this whole quarantine situation is pretty boring. And I need something to do, and I'm better when I'm actually trying to make things um, than just playing video games and not really... Uh, not really doing a whole lot. A um, few changes I want to make. I want to make the players and enemy stats grow a little faster. I want the player to be able to level up slightly faster. Not a whole lot, but I found that it was getting a little slow uh, mid-game with my uh, with with the current version. Um, I want to program in the ability to choose an extra stat to upgrade every level. So if you think you're a little behind on HP, then you can click a button and get some more health there. Um, I want there to be special moves. Uh, for instance, maybe a poison move or something that takes away some health over time. I want players and enemies to be able to use these. Um, I want the bosses to be stronger. I want each character to have their own strengths and weaknesses. And one thing that I just realized that I think I want is uh, that I want the player... I want there to be like an action points recovery item since I'm planning on having the... Um, since I'm planning on having all of the... Uh, special moves cost AP. It'll be good to put in a way to recover. Um, so that is essentially the first version and what I'm planning on doing for version 2. Um, I hope that this process of making this thing will be fun for me and might be fun for you to watch if you decide to uh, keep up with it. So anyway, thanks and uh, subscribe if you want to keep up with these.